What I'm about to pack was way up there on top of the shelf in the back and for safety I decided to go ahead and get it off the shelf and put it on my table. Let me show you what it is. We are going to be packing this large vase today featuring these little cupids or angels and it's pretty good size and it's got a huge hollow area here that I need to fill in for safety. Let's see, does it have any markings? Mm, not really. But yes, let me show you what it sold for on eBay. This tall cherub ceramic flower vase, it's off-white, ten and a quarter inches high. As I showed you, it's pretty tall. It sold for full asking price of $49.99 plus shipping. Wow, look at this sale, $76.45. And we need to pack it. And what's the first thing we need to do? If you've watched my pack and ship videos, you know that we need to fill the void. And I don't have any packing peanuts. And there's quite a bit of space we need to fill in. I think we're going to start with tissue paper. And the reason I'm starting with tissue paper is I need for it to get all the way down in the bottom here and uh, yeah, fill up that space before we add more more of something. Pushing it down in so it fills up the bottom. Let's turn the cute side around for you. Sorry about that. There you go. That's better. Much better. Need some more. I might just do this whole thing with tissue paper. What this does is, well you know I'm going to pack this really well. Basically what we're doing here is trying to keep it from being so hollow as it is because hollow items can break easier than solid items. Now though it's not going to be solid, it will be better. If I had packing peanuts this would probably be a good time to use them but I just don't use them very often. One more sheet. How many is that? Six? I stopped counting. Okay, we also need to protect the finish and we've got these fragile wings. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? More tissue paper. And as you know, I, I put my hand on one corner and run my hand down through it and basically elongate the piece of tissue paper. What are we going to do with this? You know, every time I pack something, it's basically the first time I've ever packed something. I have to think about it. I'm going to do this. Just one little piece of tape. It needs more, but let's do the other side. Again, let's elongate the tissue paper. I think I bought this at a um, moving or estate sale. I can't remember. Had it for a little while. So they're partially protected, but not completely. We need to put something around it. But I'm still trying to protect the finish for the buyer. At least my belief is that a little bit of tissue paper makes them look like I cared. I'm going to, I'm going to elongate this again and we're just going to see if it will reach. Is it going to reach? Sort of? Kind of? Not really. So let's lay this down and just fold it up and give it a little bit of tape. I just get a lot of reflection, a lot of glare when I'm doing tissue paper. Let me, I'll turn off one of the lights. Maybe that's a little better. Okay, well, I really have to protect these two angels. Let's try some small quarter inch bubble wrap. I'm going to fold this in half. I have two sheets, the 12 by 12. I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about the tissue paper so much right now. Not anymore. I need to get some bubble wrap on here. You can see it doesn't quite reach. Okay, I need that tissue paper. In other words, I don't like to put the bubble wrap directly onto the finish of the item. Let's try this again. I just showed you it wasn't going to reach all the way. So I need to put a filler piece in here. So another square. Don't worry, I'm going to be adding more bubble wrap than this. This is where I'm going to start using my masking tape. Pulling it just a little bit so it's snug but not putting any pressure on here. I'm going to add a longer piece 
maybe two. So that's just a little bit of layering. And we have this narrow part of the vase. A little concerned about that too. Again, two more pieces of the quarter inch bubble wrap, the small, folding it in half. I'm just wondering, I might be able to fold this again. Let's fold it in half again. Whenever you can try to take something that's an unusual shape and square it up, that's a good thing. A little bit of masking tape. So this is what we've got so far. Tissue paper covering everything. Small bubble wrap at the top. Small bubble wrap through the narrow part. But we need to get everything protected. That's where the large bubble wrap is going to come into play. And I always have lots of bubble wrap on hand. I'm going to start with three pieces and I think I'm going to go long ways first. I'm, as you know, I'll wrap several layers. I still don't like this. Let's get some air pillows. Get these air pillows off the internet. I'm not sure if they'll stay in place. They're actually a little bit tall. But you know what? Let's go ahead right now and add some more bubble wrap to the bottom. We're going to diaper this little vase. I know that sounds odd, but that's what I'm going to do. Looks like I'm putting a diaper on a baby. I'm going to tape this on. If you don't have safety pins, well, use masking tape or duct tape or whatever you have. Now, let's try these. Remember, I said I'm trying to square everything up. And I know these are not going to stay very well. I'm going to have to work on that. But let's just get this taped. One of the reasons I like going to the masking tape over my regular packing tape for some of this is because they can see it. They can see right where the tape is. It's hard to see the clear tape sometimes and it's a lot cheaper. Okay, we need to get some bubble wrap going the opposite direction. So let's lift these little chair babies up. Put this back down. My air pillows fell out, so I'm going to put them back in. Pull this up, tape it in two places. Turn it around. Make sure my ear pillows are in place. Pull this up and tape it. Don't be afraid to use as much tape as you need. Only tape. And don't be afraid to use as much bubble wrap as you need. Can't use too much. I'm getting a little concerned about the size of this. I think I've exceeded getting close to my eight inches. I know that's the height of my box that I'm using. I have a 12 by 12 by 8 inch box that I'd like to use. I also have a 12 by 12 by 12 that I could use. So let me go get a box right now and see what we're going to go with. I'm going to go with this 12 by 12 by 12 eBay box. I have to tell you I'm a little bit upset with eBay for this because it really pushes 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. And you know we're supposed to round up to the next inch. This is the second time I'm using the box and I am going to enter just 12 by 12 by 12 and keep my fingers crossed because, you know, I even left neutral feedback on this order because the box should be what it says it is, especially since eBay knows and the box makers know about the USPS that if it's over 12 by 12 by 12 or 12 plus 12 plus 12, if it's over 36 inches, it costs a heck of a lot more. I'll get it assembled. And as you know, make sure you always tape that side seam. Never trust it. Okay, let's do a test fit. Got plenty of room in here. I can stand it upright. And I need to fill all of this space in. And I think I'm going to use some blank newspaper print, also known as packing paper. But first, I'm putting some more bubble wrap in here. I've got four pieces this direction and four pieces the opposite direction. And this is really crappy bubble wrap because I couldn't get it at the time I bought this, get my good stuff. So I did use what was left of my good bubble wrap on the vase. This is good bubble wrap, bad bubble wrap. So I have to use two and a half times as much. All right, obviously I need lots of filler. I think I got plenty on my shipping. I'm filling every corner. It's also a good thing I picked up another roll of this. Hardware store, Walmart, wherever you want to get it. As you know, packing material can add a lot of weight, so I typically try not to use much of it. 
but I have a lot of area to fill up here and I'm certain I'm okay on my shipping so I'm going to use it in this case. This is where we are so far. I still have areas I need to fill up. I do have my air pillows I can use. But a little more paper first. Air pillows. Sorry about that. Trying to keep the bubble wrap pulled up while I push the air pillows down. I'll show you in a second here. Okay, there you go. I have these almost everywhere. I know it's kind of hard to see. I can only get so high with the camera, but I've got them stuck everywhere. Just want to make sure everything's packed down as much as it can be. Get my thank you note. Yep, time for the thank you note. Run these 30 up on a sheet of labels. Very inexpensive to do. Just says thank you Avante Avenue. Let's start folding this in. I might need to put some more bubble wrap on top. But it's looking pretty good. You know, I want another piece. I do. As I said, this isn't my favorite bubble wrap. It was supposed to be a half inch, but they cheated me and didn't send me half inch. And I needed it so bad that I had to keep it. You know, I think that's pretty good. We're going to move around maybe a little bit. That's when these cardboard tubes can come in handy. Do you recognize these? <laughs> yes, they're toilet tissue rolls. But they can be good to stuff down to reduce movement. You can slightly flatten them just a little bit, you know, just like so. We don't want things to be shifting around. Now, my table's moving. My microphone's probably making a racket. But I think it's I think it's pretty good. Will this close? Let's, let's go this way. Will it close? Yes, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. Let's give it a shake. It's not going anywhere. Let's get it taped up. I'm going to enter the dimensions on the bottom of the box and like I said, keep my fingers crossed. And this package is going out to, let's write this on the bottom. Who's it going to? I don't know if I can get this in the camera. DT in California. Okay, we did it. I can only spin it so much because I have very little space I work in and I've got a very big box. Wish me luck. If you like these kind of videos, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I'd like you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.